Hello again, Pietro here. Thank you so much for clicking on by. So today I'm reviewing something and unboxing something that I've thought about unboxing for, oh, I don't know, more than a decade. And I haven't had a Forerunner watch on my wrist for quite some time. So it's, let's, yeah, let's just do it. I think the last time I wore a Forerunner was 2004, maybe 2006. Still, almost two decades. Here we go, make a small incision. Away from me, right? Can you guess what's inside? Ah, that's really kind of the Forerunner, a GPS watch, the Forerunner 955 Solar by Garmin. I'm currently wearing a Garmin, actually, right, right there. All right, let's uh, make another small incision right there. So this is a white one, and it's solar. Here we go. Ready? Okay, that's nice. Do you concur? So inside the box, we have the normal stuff, but is it USB-C or USB-A? It is USB-A. This might be an older model, to be honest. I'm not quite sure. It's just caught my eye and a couple of people kept on asking me, hey, why won't you review or why aren't you reviewing that new Garmin 255 something something with the AMOLED screen and all that. Well, this one caught my eye because of those, is it? Yeah, it's, it's five letters. Solar, S-O-L-A-R. I really like solar watches. And the fact that the Epix 2 is not a solar watch is probably one of the few things I don't like about it. And then this little thing was actually in the box. So let's take that off. Take that off. I'm liking it so far. We have the standard five button navigation of which I'm used to. It has the nice flexible band. Okay. You know, this the smell test is pretty good. You know, it's a Garmin. I'm pretty sure this is not a sapphire glass screen, but there is a slight, a really, really subtle bezel. So that will uh, prevent it, maybe. Here we go, ready? That's, that's a very satisfying sound. I like that sound. Let's turn it on. Ooh, the buttons are squishy. Buttons have a nice sound. Subtle click. There we go. She's turning on. It was a little bit cold. Oh, oh, we got our first screen. Garmin loading. Should we choose English? And I think we should uh, rotate. And yes, you are right. Safety glasses on, Andy. And per Malacqua requirements, always close the Kershaw. All right, pair phone to enable connected features. Yeah, we want to do that. Ooh, look at that solar panel. I wonder if this has power glass. Let's uh, let's zoom in here. Nice labeling, front runner, front runner 955 solar. Made in Taiwan, we have the four pin. There's a special number, which I probably shouldn't show on camera. Five button navigation. I like how the start button is a little, kind of a silver titanium trim. There we have the back button labeled. This one says down, up, and light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pair this not to my primary account, but to my secondary account. So I'm going to pair this not to my primary account, but to my secondary account until I figure out what all it has, because the Epix has this Epic body battery. Let me show you. So if I scroll down, click on body battery, it shows all the factors. So it shows 
My walk this afternoon, negative four. Walk this morning, negative two. Indoor row, negative one. Negative one. Did I say one? Negative 11. And then my sleep, plus 61. I like seeing that breakdown. And it has a ton of other features. Ooh. Just 12,000 steps to go, right, GP? So we open up Garmin. And it's asked me to pair enabled. Yep, click. Scan with camera. But we, we don't need to do that because we can click on more, and then we go to Garmin devices, add device, ready to connect your Forerunner 955 Solar. You know my bad, I thought it was an uppercase R. Connect it, completing setup, pair, and then it's gonna have, yep, allow. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Solar intensity, yes. So I can take this off for now, finish. You know, I'm not, yep, did, I tracked my driving today. And I can take off my Coros Pace 3, which I highly recommend. If you're looking for a budget-friendly device, it's so awesome. And I may or may not compare these two. I don't know, comment below. So well done, it says next. Your primary wearable is the main data source. Do you want to make it your primary wearable? Yes. Bedtime, I wish. Wake up time, sure. Do you want to receive notifications? No, I want to sleep. Set your goals, keep defaults. Solar intensity, your forerunner solar will sync periodically through the day when you open the app, nice. Your Forerunner may require occasional software updates. Finish. Try these simple actions. Sure, you know, you might be, you that are watching might be new to Garmin. Assistance. Press and hold the light button. Ooh. And now tap on an icon. So I can tap on this phone connected to reset. I can click to sync, that's pretty nice. So this is fun. We can sync through Wi-Fi. My last Forerunner didn't even sync at all. It didn't have Wi-Fi. It didn't have Bluetooth. So this is a huge upgrade. Next, so that's the control menu. From the watch face, swipe or scroll up. Review incidents. Okay, yep, that sounds good. So I can swipe to the left. Or not. Oh, it's saying swipe up to view all the widgets. Wow, it came at 96% charged? That is pretty awesome. That, that view right there is stellar. Next. Now let's walk through how to start a timed activity. You just hit the start button, like so. Workout suggestions. You can now follow daily workout suggestions to stay focused. Today's base, recommended, base benefit, oh, that's pretty cool. So I'm not gonna run, but if we put start again, we can say dismiss, and then we can add more workouts. Next, press and hold down to access music. So by default, this is a shortcut to music, that's nice. And you're all set. Navigating your Forerunner 955 Solar is easy once you've learned the basics. I concur. Congratulations. Not now. Ready when you are. Yep, got it. And synchronize. So the first thing I like to do is add battery estimates. So if we long press right there and scroll to system, and then we want to go down to... Format, data recording, reset, software update, no. Is it on time? We definitely want 24 hour. Yes, please. Actually, I prefer full on military. Power management, there we go. Battery estimates on. And then battery saver. Status 14 days. We'll play around with that later. 
And then we want to go down to system, backlight, general use, alerts, gesture on, timeout, brightness, 20 second, 20. Yeah, 20 looks about good. Gesture on, alerts on, during sleep, brightness, timeout, okay. We want to check the sound. I wonder if that, oh, there we go, sound and vibe. Key tones, I'll turn those on just for fun. Key vibe on. Touch, general use on, which means now if I'm in this menu right here and I cover the watch, oh, it doesn't have a shortcut where it just goes back. Fourteen days. That's pretty good, Garmin. That is pretty good. Let's try it on, shall we? This is where you get to see my mess of a desk. The band is comfortable. I mean, it's a Garmin. And then if I wanted to, I could just quickly take that off and put on the other one, which I probably will do. Now, does this have the quick release, like the Epics? Well, that's interesting. It does not. So the Epics has one of my favorite bands where they just snap on and snap off because they have the rod. This one looks to be the pin similar to Huh, maybe well, well, you know, before I say too much, I'll just wear it and try out. How's the sensor? Looks to be the same sensor as the Epix 2 and as the Phoenix 7X, but not the Epix Pro or the 7X Pro. So, sensor 4.0. Does this mean I bought an older watch? I don't know. So, let's check body battery. That's going to tell me something. You know, we're going to have to turn off the... Uh... So to turn off the beeping, go to system, sound and vibe, ketones, off. But I like the button vibe. That's, that's pretty cool. And we can go to sleep mode. Watch face doesn't change. Yes, I want the watch face to change. Schedule, that looks good. Saturday through Sunday. Awesome, awesome, Awesome. So now we can go back to system, go to software update, check for updates. Wi-Fi is off, turn on, add networks through the app. So we click on the watch, oh, sending software update. Oh, that answered that question. You know, I think they've slightly modified the running guy. So we're gonna have to wait for that to update. So currently it was on version 15.19. This device complies with part 15 of the FCCC. All right, I will not interfere. Very happy that it came so charged. Training status, detraining. I like the look, I like the feel. It is lighter than the Epix 2, not by much, but a little. I can't wait to charge it outdoors. I can't wait. And we need to add the solar widget. I'd be surprised if it's not already there. The vibration on the button is, on the buttons is really good. Solar intensity, there we go. And you might know this if you're a Garmin user, but you can just click up and quickly go to the bottom. Hmm, it's not showing a history. That's disconcerting because my Instinct 2X has it. But again, maybe it just needs an update. And I was really hoping this was gonna come with the 5.0 sensor. Maybe I should have ordered the 255. Hmm. Later that same night, it did actually update. Here's the watch downloading the updates through Wi-Fi. It was taking forever to download them <laughs> through uh, the app. Uh, I should have just connected to your computer, but it did in fact update. Body battery was there. 
and it reminded me a lot of other garments that I've been wearing over the past two years. It is a winter wonderland. This is day two with my new Forerunner watch. How about the outdoor visibility? You know, it's kind of cloudy. It's in the morning. Can you even see the watch outside? Oh, I think you'll be surprised. Pleasantly surprised. So on my left is the Forerunner. That's without any backlight. And then that is the Epix with the backlight because it's AMOLED. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I love the always on display. I've missed that ever since I got rid of my Phoenix 7X Pro Sapphire Solar. Hey puppy, film the video. Can you slow down just a wee bit? There's your outdoor visibility. No backlight, very good. And it even has large font. Funny enough, this is running version 17 of the Garmin OS, whereas my Epix is running 15. It's so nice to make new tracks in the snow. And I love walking in the snow. Sure, the feet get wet, but the dog and I just love it. Love it! Ah, look at those mountains. Come on. Do you like the view, puppy? Do you see any birds? Almost there. Thanks for walking with me. No animations. That was disappointing. Hello again. Lighting test. Check one, check two. Let's warm it up a bit. Let's warm it up a little more. Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah? Okay. All right, little audio switch, hair check. Uh, this time I switched to the Rode instead of the wired microphone. Th this one, my, what is this one called? Pop voice. <laughs> the one I started out with, the one that my son gave me. All right, so now we just have the transmitter to the receiver through USB-C filming on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flippin' 3. And then as long as I am mic'd up, no matter how far away I am, the audio stays the same, but the microphone is a bit wobbly. How's the audio if I go like that? Does that rub against the microphone? If I'm moving around, opening up a knife. Not so much, and then the audio probably is pretty good right next to it. Okay, now we'll try one more option, this time with the white lavalier mic connected to the Rode Wireless Go To. Cut. All right, here we go. This is probably the best option. You know, I'm just gonna play around with the light a little more. Yeah. I like that. A little softer, not so. Okay. So now we have the white, actually Rode microphone going to the Rode transmitter on my hip. And then because it's on the system, audio is still good. And yeah, no matter where I am. Okay, now I'll review it and then we'll go with the one that I like the best for the unboxing. Oh, 